Hello there, this is Russ Buecher from Tetherscript Technology Corporation. I'm the developer of Control My Joystick. Control My Joystick is a game automation utility that runs on Windows PCs. Basically, you can create a macro uh, in Control My Joystick and it will send keystrokes and mouse presses and all sorts of good stuff to your game uh, to allow you to automate things such as navigating through menus or doing other complex tasks. Now, we do have a request from the Apple uh, app approval team to give a bit of a demo on this so they can proceed with uh, evaluating our app that we have submitted. And really we submitted an application that uh, allows the remote control of our software, Control My Joystick, to send commands to a game. So it's like a remote of a remote of a game. So I'm just going to give a brief demonstration here how that works. So first of all, let's just take a look at it up and running here. I'll give a quick demo to see how it works. And then uh, in a minute or two, I'll show you how to set it all up from scratch uh, if you like to be able to do that. So there we have it running on an iPhone 7 Plus. And here we have it running on an Android 5. And there's the main uh, Control My Joystick screen. Just to the left of it, you'll find that we have a, another remote that runs uh, on the PC. And this is our standard a gaming setup here. This device here is 3D Connection 6 Depth of Field controller that some of our clients use. And you see we have these buttons, that red and green button that is on uh, the remote app. So we'll see it when we look back down at the phones here. And I have two commands, the gear down and gear up, that are currently uh, ready to run. And those commands appear as buttons on these apps. So you can take that one, put it on another monitor, but the real good stuff is when you can use a phone here. You see those buttons appear on the phone? If I click on one, it causes something to happen in Control My Joystick. It runs a macro, which in turn sends commands off to a game. So that was gear up. So if we touch gear down. You can see how uh, the log here in Control My Joystick is showing that it has received a command and now it's running that macro. First off, you're going to try, if you're going to try this, uh, go to www.controlmyjoystick.com and uh, then go to free trial. It gives you a free 14-day trial. You can download it here. It's only about 20 meg or so. Install that on a Windows PC and uh, then you're good to go. The installer will create a uh, shortcut on your desktop. All right, so here's Control My Joystick. Basically, we have different profiles in here for different games. You may want a certain set of macro commands to go to Age of Empires and maybe something a little different going to Civilization. I've created a test profile here that we'll use in our demo uh, called One Test. And this demo here uh, for Profile One Test has two macros over here, Gear Up and Gear Down. They're triggered by a TCP IP trigger. And uh, so that's basically our app. And uh, our app uh, on the iPhone is going to send a command uh, through TCP IP network protocol to control my joystick, which will in turn run this uh, set of script commands. It's gonna pause 500 milliseconds and send the G key to a game which might uh, toggle the landing gear. Okay, so let's see how we can set this up. Well, first of all, you need to configure the TCP, IP, the TCP IP server. So you right click here in your triggers, go configure TCP IP trigger server. And uh, by default, we have port 50003. Uh, you enable it, but you need to also set a bind address because you're going to be accessing this um, application through the network, you need to ensure that you bind to the address that your network card is listening on or that is bound to. And here I've just gone into Windows command prompt, typed IP config. And here's my uh, internal address. It'll might be different for your computer. So 10.0.0.133. So I've configured my TCP IP server to bind to that address. Your Control My Joystick remote app running on the iPhone is going to connect to this address. Okay, so we have it on enable, hit OK. Now, uh, here is the log, and I'm just going to uh, 
close this and clear the log out because when we execute some commands uh, through the remote, you'll be able to see that uh, it is reaching here and trying to run macros. Now, uh, what we started off initially here is we had a, uh, a TCP IP remote that basically can sit on another monitor when you're gaming. And uh, in fact, here are the two buttons uh, that represent these two macros that have TCP IP triggers. So, um, you know, if I was to just click on gear up, we'll see some activity here. I'm just going to clear this out, see some activity in log. So let's say I'm flying a plane in a game and I press this button here, gear up. It runs this macro, which sends this G key to the game. And if I go gear down, same idea. Okay, so let's take a look how that works uh, with the iPhone app. Okay, so here we have control my joystick running and you can see here that uh, I have the iPhone 7 Plus set up here and uh, we have Control My Joystick Remote installed here with Test Flight. So I'm just going to uh, launch the app. Now initially when you launch it, you'll get a kind of a blank screen because it's not connected yet. And then it'll pop up to the settings screen here. Now it's important that you uh, set up the, uh, the address here to reflect uh, what the server address was in uh, control my joystick. So here it's 10.0.0.133 and that is also what we have here and the port is the same 50,003. Okay we also have this device ID and we use that to uh, so um, you can have if you have more than one device maybe a, an iPhone and an iPad you can have some buttons showing on your iPhone and some buttons on your iPad but we'll just keep it on device one for now. Now to connect you just touch this here and now you can see it is showing the two buttons that we have configured. And we have a gear down and we have a gear up. And I'm just gonna go here, here's a macro called gear down and I'm just gonna double click on its trigger, its TCP IP trigger and has a title and a description. Uh, its order is two, so it's the second button in the list, device number one. And you can see it set the background color and the foreground color and it's shown here, all right. Now if I go to gear up and I go here, you can see the information about this button. Now I'm just going to clear out the log and uh, touch one of these buttons here. So let's see what happens when here gear down and you can see it, it runs the macro, sends the G button to the game, which might be bound to the gear in the game. And now I'll also touch uh, gear down. There we go, so gear up and gear down. So that is running those macros remotely through the network. And I'm just going to clear this out. And that's just really how it works. So a typical user will take their iPhone and kind of prop it up by their uh, keyboard and maybe an iPad as well. And they can set up these different commands uh, on their devices to allow them to navigate and automate their games a little better. So now if you ever want to create uh, one of these from scratch, uh, what you can do is create, is create a new profile. I'll call it uh, to test. And then here I will go new, create a new macro and we'll just call it test. And here I'll add a trigger. So I'll right click. I want a TCP IP trigger. Call it my test macro. Now a description is optional, so I'll just leave it out completely. You can change the colors. Yeah, there, whatever you like. Okay, so hit okay. And you can see as soon as we save it, it is saved uh, on the device and shown on the device. So I'm just gonna double clear and change this text color so it's a little bit easier to see on the video. Okay. Uh, so now anytime uh, we touch it, it's going to run the macro. Now we don't have any script commands uh, and we should, so you can add the most basic one, which is like a 500 millisecond pause. There we go. So now if I go here and I touch this, you can see in the log that is run the macro. That's it. That is how you use the Control My Joystick remote on an iPhone or an iOS device to trigger macros in Control My Joystick, which are in turn sent to a game. Now, if you have any questions about this app, be sure to let us know and we'll, we'll answer those questions. Thanks for your time.